This is a story of success. Success which comes from hard work, luck, and the drive to never give up. We're deep in the Bahamas on the island of Abaco, and we're being guided by Oliver White. Oliver, this place is paradise, man. This is absolutely awesome. But you're not a Bahamian. No, no. How'd you get here? Uh, you know, I grew up in North Carolina primarily, and yeah. so I started trout fishing just like everybody who fly fishes, and it always starts with trout. Yeah. My father was crew military, so we moved a lot when I was a kid. We kind of moved back to North Carolina when I was around 10, so North Carolina's always been home and uh, still is home. And then I went to college in Chapel Hill, and that, it was really in college when I really started my fly fishing career. I was going up to Western North Carolina to guide for the summers. And they had their little business there, which was small stream and, and float fishing. And then they had a business in Alaska and they did a bone fish. There's some more fish coming. They did a bone fishing school in the Bahamas. Right. And so he asked me to come to the Bahamas. My very first trip, uh, I was 17 and I, I came to teach fly casting. The guiding wasn't really meant to be a job. Oliver was into his guiding at that point, and Oliver wanted to, I think, just being having that adventurous spirit, um, wanted to move, um, and he ended up moving to Argentina. So I was down in Argentina guiding a flagship operation called Cal Taupin, uh, which is down in Tierra del Fuego for sea run brown trouts. And uh, I mean, it's been named the best fishing lodge in the world. It's, it's, it's totally incredible. It was guiding in Argentina, where a fishing trip would lead to a job offer of a lifetime. And this guy shows up uh, from New York, and he had never fished before. And that had never happened there. We don't get anglers like that. But he had bought this trip at a charity auction because they told him it's the best in the world. And he said, I, I'm going to try it. Might as well try it at the best. Uh, his name is Bill Ackman. You know, he ran a hedge fund in New York. He was a young guy. And I got stuck guiding him for the week. Bill. Um and he hit it off very well. And not only was he inquisitive about the fishing, but he was with me, you know. How'd you end up here? And what are you gonna do? Bill is the type of person, I think, that he's not this, he can hire all the uh, Harvard grads that he wants, but he likes to have some diversity. Oliver White gets an offer from billionaire Bill Ackman to work at his New York hedge fund. You know, I mean, I took this job in New York. I'd never been to the city. Yeah. You know, I had, I had no idea what I was getting into. Um, you know, I mean, I sold my drift boat in my truck just to be able to get an apartment in New York. I thought I would go to New York expecting to learn a couple things, that I never wanted to work in an office, that I never wanted to live in a city. And even if I only went for six months and validated those thoughts, then it was worth the trip. So really, I took the skills I'd learned in New York, and now I, instead of taking the fishing skills to New York, I'm taking it the other way. And it was a, a broad search of what's available. And so the natural progression was what companies are for sale. So I mean, I looked at manufacturing companies, you know, flies, waders, rods, and they were all terrible businesses. And uh, right. then started looking at lodges and they were all priced inappropriately. I mean, they, they might've been good places or good fishing, but they were terrible businesses, especially for what they were asking. So the only value that I saw was the ability to create something new. And I found a great piece of property in a perfect location on an incredible fishery. And uh, it had been for sale for a really long time. Oliver formalized a business plan and with Bill as a major investor, purchased the property and started construction of a brand new lodge. But it was during construction that Oliver experienced a horrifying day. We were in the middle of construction. It was a Saturday. You know, I had 30 people working at any given time. Everybody had just gotten off work. So the sun was going down and nobody was here. I was here and, and a guy shows up. You know, the guy's got a, got a machete at my neck. The guy reached down and picked up the machete, proceeded to take him hostage. And it was shocking because we couldn't believe that. Because, um, you know, that never happened here like that, you know? So after the whole thing went down, you know, I left, uh, left the country, went back home. So I went back to North Carolina and, uh, you know, I was talking to Bill about everything that had happened and, uh, and his advice was just to walk away. Coming up, Oliver reconsiders his future. 